Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's team call. Tonight, we're going to be talking about everything Team Classic. So what is Team Classic? Hold on, guys. Brandon, can you let Zoe out? She's scratching. So Team Classic really is a spirited competition. And for me, I feel like Team Classic comes at the exact right time because it's a great way for all of us to create momentum in our business that's going to carry over from now into the new year. Because honestly, I feel like September, October, November, like those months, things start to slow down a little bit. But I feel like Fall Classic comes right at the exact time because it helps you get back on track and it helps you get the momentum that you need to um, build your business into the upcoming year. I will tell you guys that last year, um, last year I did pretty good um, between August and September, but when September, like the end of September came and everything, like I started to struggle a little bit. And when Fall Classic came around, that's really when I started to really pick up my business and start building my business. I was in Emerald at this time last year, and um, basically this is where I started building my business. I was running amazing challenge groups, and a lot of my challengers in those challenge groups in October, uh, November, and, De and December ended up being my coaches like December on into the, the following year. And so this is the time where I started building momentum in my business. So I want you guys to know that one year makes a huge difference. So um, if you are struggling in your business, even if you're watching this back, just remember that if you're struggling in your business, the fall classic is the perfect time for you to get to a point in your business where you start creating those relationships, building those seeds, planting those seeds, so that you start building momentum in your business is going to take you into the next year. If you're in Emerald or just at coach status this right now, use this as a tool to get um, the momentum you need, which means get consistent with the three vital behaviors. Um, if you learn to get consistent with the be three vital behaviors in this month and every single day you have a plan, you're going to get to where you want to be and you're going to surprise yourself um, of what you can actually accomplish. And the rules are all here laid out for you guys. I won't spend a lot of time on the rules because I feel like um, with the rules and everything, like you're going to talk about that with your team. But basically, it's going to be you and two other coaches on your team, and you can have one diamond on your team. You do not have to have a diamond on your team, but if there are diamonds, uh, diamonds in my downline, just make sure there's one diamond on your team. Hey, Roxy. Um, so I already went over a little bit about like what the – you know, Team Beach Body Classic is. And like I said, it's going to help you have the principles for the three vital behaviors and um, build consistency in your business. Sorry, guys, just closing out some of these tabs. I have so many tabs open. So here's basically how you earn points in the Fall Classic, right? So when you assemble your team, you need to make sure you figure out like how many points you want as a team. But first, you know, you earn one point. It's a lot like, it's a lot like, um, God, guys, what do we call it that we just had? The Team Beachbody Cup? It's a lot like the Team Beachbody Cup. The only difference is that there's three people. Um, on your on your on your team for fall classic so you have one success club point equals one fall classic point right so for every success club point you get a fall classic point you also get a fall classic point if you or your personally sponsored coach advances in rank so like I mentioned the three vital behaviors and creating momentum into your business um, I started rank advancing like I, I planted my seeds in the month of October November December and all through this following year, all through 2015, is where I started to rank advance because of the seeds and the three vital behaviors and the things that I planted in the month of um, October last year. So um, if you're struggling, this is a great way for you to get back on track. So rank advancement. I know some people on my team, a lot of new coaches on my team are wanting to be Emerald. So if you want to be Emerald, get on a Team Cup team and I will help you guys assemble teams and um, all that good stuff. And then a boost bundle. So sell any of the three boost bundles 
in November to a customer and you get a fall classic point. So there's several ways to earn um, fall classic points. And this is just an example how they kind of rack up. So if you sold three challenge packs, of course, that success club six. But remember when you're selling challenge packs that you don't look at the person as a challenge pack. That's a whole nother call. And I've talked about that a thousand times. It's not selling three challenge packs. It's helping three people get started on their journey. And every one of us knows three people who needs help getting started on their journey. Um, I do have a... I'm going to stop screen share. I have, I am going to put a, um, like fall classic goals guide in the team on the team page. And that fall classic goal guide is a, is a great way to print out. And why do you want to print that out? Because I think it's a great way for you to help you identify your goals, but not only help you identify your goals, but it helps you break down goals daily, what you should be doing every single day to hit your goal. Sorry, I'm so thirsty. Um, it'll also help you go to get motivation each day. You know, we have things like, we have like, once you're like a diamond coach or you're a star diamond coach, there's other ways that you can, um, you know, get personal development or learn things or create tools or grab tools. And I grabbed last year's uh, fall classic goal guide because I thought it was just so amazing. Um, and this is really just a great way for you guys to stay organized. And what I think you should do is really print out this goal guide. And I will tell you guys that on there, it says like fall classic 2014. I've looked for the fall classic 2015 goal guide. And I don't, all I see is the business activity tracker, but I'm going to see if I'm going to ask some more leaders on the team and see if they have the 2015 goal guide. If not, if not, still print out the 2014 goal guide. Hold on. I'm going to uh, meet somebody. Okay. So basically, if you want to achieve something, you have to set monthly goals, right? But when you set those monthly goals, what you want to do is you want to break them down into daily tasks, which will create momentum and positive daily habits. Um, so I know sometimes you can look at your goal and be like, oh my God. How am I? I've never, I haven't even started talking to anybody. How am I going to hit Success Club 10? Well, the best way to do it is to start with daily tasks. Break those down. Instead of looking at, of course, you have to have like a vision of the big picture. But at the same time, you need to break that down. And those small tasks that you do daily is going to lead to big results. Does that make sense? Instead of overwhelming yourself with, oh my God, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this, just break it down into those daily tasks. Because when you break it down into those daily tasks, it's a little less overwhelming. You're going to feel confident in yourself because you're doing it every single day. You're going to feel like you're in control of where you're heading rather than feeling out of control, like where do I start, where do I go? And another way for you to do this is figure out how many points you want together as a team. So your group of three people, sit down, have a Zoom call, have a Google Hangouts call, figure out as a team how many points you guys want to create. And once you figure out how many points you want to create using the, um, using the Fall Classic Goal Guide, once you have a plan, set clear expectations about where you guys are going to do and clear expectations about what you're going to do each day, but as, together as a team, how you guys are going to get there whether you're going to run challenge groups together, whether you're going to do a Zoom call once a week together, whatever it is, make sure that you guys are accountable to each other. Because when you're accountable to each other, it keeps you going. Does that make sense? Because what I'm going to do with my Fall Classic team, I have a lot of new coaches. So what I would like to do is at least have two or three Fall Classic teams. And I want to bring all of us together to have a call or solicit one leader to have a call with their group each week so that everybody knows what they're doing. So on the fall classic goal guide, 
if you have a plan and you know what you're doing and how you're going to know how many people you're supposed you guys are supposed to be inviting weekly but you're also going to know how many people you're supposed to be inviting daily um can you have a newbie that wants to join a team we'll figure out a team for sure so i if we have till the 31st to get everybody you know joined up and i think the sooner we do it the better so that we could better plan out and strategize um what we're going to do so guys if you want to build momentum in your business and you're a business builder it's time to get on the team cup team <clears throat> so daily planning and strategizing is a really great way for you to get the most of your daily time we are all busy people have kids people have jobs people have family people have things they want to do people have tv shows they want to watch but really honestly for me i'm working tv i'll catch up on whatever show there are like when you know when i'm retired or something <laughs> or when i have time for me if i'm going after a goal i'm not watching any tv so basically i'm just saying like if everybody has an hour everybody can set time an hour in their day to do something. Even if you have to break down that hour in five minute or 20 minute increments, if you spend even one hour doing the daily tasks that, that lead you to being successful or lead you to doing what you wanna do eventually, you won't be as busy. Does that make sense? I mean, you'll be busy, but who wants to be super busy for the rest of their life? You have a goal and you're tired of running around like a chicken with your head cut off, Sit down and strategize, and I feel like the fall classic is a great time to do that because you're doing that with a team, and you're having people who are holding you accountable to do it. Um, like I already mentioned, like a Zoom call, Google Chat is a great way to connect so that you set goals and clear expectations for your entire team. Um, so. I mean, that's really all I have. I told you guys it was gonna be really, really short. So have a weekly accountability group, but also I wanted to touch on a couple other things, like post three to five times daily. Like, I'm just saying, like, if there's nothing that you can do uh, for that day, at least post, at least post. Because if you can scroll the news feed and like somebody's post, you have plenty of time to post something yourself. And I think another great plan would be if together, what I've been doing is I have a group that um, I have a group of success partners and what we do is each one of us have a day where we post something. It's like kind of like a little mastermind group, right? So I might have a day where I post a recipe or somebody might post a motivational post. My days are Fridays. On Fridays, I post something. On Monday, Lindsay posted something. On Thursday, Kim posts something. And each one of us tags each other in that post. So at least something's going up. Does that make sense? I don't know if anyone else is doing that. Kim, do you guys have a mastermind kind of group that you guys got going on? No, I, um, it sounds horrible. Well, I probably shouldn't say it on video, but whatever. We can talk <laughs> about it later. But no, no, I looked into it, but I just, I, I guess I couldn't find the right people. I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, take some of your own coaches. Like if you have any coaches right now who are new, take some of your own coaches get them together and you guys you could do this either for you could do this for fall classic but you can all just do this period is choose um each day somebody posts something and it doesn't have to be extremely strategic like so and so is posting a recipe this day she's putting the most motivational post we just post something related to beach body once a day in our group and we do it like five or six days a week so if there's five of us Monday through Friday is when we do it. Mm -hmm. So Monday, Lindsay does it. Tuesday, Brian does it. Uh, Friday, I do it. And then somebody else does it on the other two days. So that it, it kind of makes it seem like you have your own little club, which every time I post something, I don't know if you guys noticed, but 90% of the time when I post something, I'm tagging somebody. Because not only is it going to my page, it's going to their page. And people see that together we're a team. So this is a great way for you guys to also really just connect and um, come together. So I feel like if this is working for, for me and it's working for other people, I feel like this is a great way to implement that into the fall classic. Um, and just know that the fall classic is gonna, guys, 
I know that we're looking at success club points. We're looking at helping three to five people monthly or more get started on their fitness journey. But these success club points, like I said, they're not just people, but what it is, is it leads to not only clients, but it leads to people being your coaches. It leads people to a better life. So just remember that when you're doing this is that success club points are not just success club points. Success club points is leading somebody to something greater and better. Um, and make sure that when you're talking to people that you're, of course, just, you have to give value to create value, right? So when I'm talking about Shakeology, I lead with Shakeology a lot. And when I lead with Shakeology, I'm not just saying, oh, it's a protein shake or, oh, it's a weight loss shake and it's $130. No, by this time, I think we all know. And if you don't know, is really, I'm talking to people and letting them know what it is and how it can help them. And I want you guys, I want to urge you guys that if you're a new coach on the team, take 15 minutes of, of your day to learn about the products. Take 15 minutes of your day to learn about Shakeology. What's in it? What's in Shakeology? How does it help? Can people who are diabetic drink it? And why is it good for them? Like take 15 minutes out of your day to learn about something that's in Shakeology. Even if it's something like, oh, I learned about spirulina today and I know what it is and I know how it can help people. Nobody wants to see you like with your Shakeology cup, like, oh, this is so delicious. People like to hear success stories about it. People like to hear how convenient it is. People like to hear that it's quick, easy to make. Um, so make sure that you're adding value. And really, it's $4 a day. When people ask me what the price is, I said it breaks down to $4 a day and it's cheaper than Starbucks. And it's, um, it's cheaper than Starbucks. It cuts my bill in half. And... You know, it's my, it's, to me, it's my insurance, really. Oh, have a list. I wrote this down. Like, have a list. I don't know. Who here has a list? Kim, do you have a list of people? Roxy, do you have a list yet of people? No? Okay. I will urge everybody that if you don't have a list, there's lots of new coaches, so I know that this is kind of all brand new. But make sure you have a list of people and the magic is in the follow up. So remember that if somebody says no to you or somebody has asked you about something, just start a conversation with them. Half the time conversations that I start, I will say most conversations that I just start do not start with Beachbody unless somebody else brings it up. I think it takes like 10 conversations for one to lead to Beachbody right off the bat. So I just keep building relationships with people. Um, I already talked about posting, have a list and remember to follow up and all this stuff you can go in depth with your coach or look back at other videos we've talked about. Um, and just remember that when you're going through this process, you have something unique in yourself and you have something unique in this business. So you are unique. Don't be beach body, be you. And remember that people want to be you. If people can't relate to me, guess what? They can relate to the next person. So be you. There's somebody out there for everybody. Um, what else did I want to cover? I think that's basically it, you guys. So just get on a team cup team because I really, really, truly believe that all the work that I put in and all the work that a lot of other coaches put in in the month of October, when it felt a little slow or you didn't feel like you had a lot of momentum, this or you feel like you're kind of dragging along, this is a great way to like respark that. And, and get around your team and get around those people who are on your team cup team or, or check in with your coach and let your coach check in with you and take everything that they're offering. If, that, if you have a really big goal, just remember that this is the time to get started, even when it's slow. No farmer just, you know, nobody has a farm and then all of a sudden they have this beautiful harvest. They have to plant those seeds to create that harvest. And they have, and sometimes it doesn't always work out right away, right? And, but they keep farming, they keep planting, they keep doing everything they need to do for that harvest to grow. So make sure that you're planting seeds. And sometimes know that some seeds are going to sprout right away. And some seeds, they take two or three years down the line. I have people, when I first started being a coach two years ago, that had been following me for two years. And then all of a sudden they say, hey, I've been watching you for, you know, the last couple of years. I've been watching your journey. And I was just wondering about Shapeology. I thought that person would never come to me. They'd never like to post. So keep planting those seeds and keep knowing that people are watching. But just be you and offer 
what you offer. And I, like I said, I really feel like Fall Classic is the best way for you to get back in the game. If you feel a little lost, get back in the game, get with your coach, create a goal, get with your team, create a goal, and use the Fall Classic for the momentum to carry you over into the next year. Where do you want to be by this time next year? How do you want to feel by this time next year? What do you want your team to look like by this time next year? Do you want debt paid off? Do you want abs? Do you want, I mean, what do you want by next year? Just think about that and ask your team what they want by next year. So this momentum is not just for you to get your business back on track, but for the coaches on your team to get back on track. Um, and I'm done, you guys. I'm a little off right now, but this is the best that um, I can come up with. I just wanted to let you guys know some stuff about the Teen Beach Body Classic, what it is, and how it can help you build that momentum in your business that's going to carry you over into 2016. Can y'all believe it's already going to be 2016? I mean, yeah. So imagine where you want to be in October 2016. I know where I want to be. So I want to see you guys get to where you want to be as well. So I will be posting um, that fall classic goals guide that I mentioned, and I'll probably do another short video on how I break down the goals on the fall classic goals guide. Um, I will also be doing videos just to help you guys throughout the week. And, and I know a lot of the um, leaders on the team, go ahead and make your own videos too to share with your team um, about fall classic. My goal is to really, I really want to do a video and add value to you guys once a week or maybe every couple days during the month of November to help you um, to help you guys get through Fall Classic and build that momentum because I'm telling you guys, it can blow up so fast. I mean, December, January, people are gonna be wanting to get back on track. And who are they gonna turn to? Do they wanna go to a gym where they don't have anyone helping them? Or do they want to come to you where they have this beautiful community that's helped you out? So I'm done with the recording. I'll talk to you guys later. Does 